Yeah, what's happening? What it is, what's going? It's your boy, Mike Rich, man. What's happening with y'all today? Hope everybody, each and every last one of y'all is having a blessed day today, man. Today, bro. Fresh out of work, number one. I'm a little tired. Probably look a little tired. Tired like Clyde Drexler. Drexler? Drexler? Anyway, hope y'all doing good, man. Been a minute. I've been kind of absent on this channel for some reason. Like I said, long week at work, tired, but also, like I said, June has been dry. But speaking of June, it's going to end us off pretty good because shout out my people over at Lavish Life Sneakers. Lavish Life Sneakers is having a sale, a customer appreciation sale to be exact. It started yesterday on the 29th and it goes to July 6th. Uh, uh, up to 50% off sneakers. They got over 300 pairs, man. Go and get your size, man. Stuff you might have missed out on. Go and shop with them. Shop is uh, Lavish Life Sneakers down there in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Go on their website and get you some kicks for a great steal. You feel me? Um, but anyway, Another thing that happened today is a sneaker drop. Now, I know and you know that this sneaker is going to end up being an outlet special, man. I don't even have to say the words. I feel like there's going to be an outlet special, man. But the thing about it is, I like them, man. Got a car, man. Get, a, get some of this fresh air. It's been raining, man. You feel me? But um, I like the shoe, man. You know what I'm saying? One of my favorite silhouettes. My favorite Jordan silhouette of all time. If y'all been sticking with the channel, you already know what shoe it is. And if you, you know, if you stick with releases, you know what shoe it is. But I want to see them in hand, man. So I am at the mall, like always, Stonecrest Mall. And I'm about to go check these things out, man. So um, it's a person, this girl lit. She's just sitting over in her car, way out here in the end of the parking lot. And she, she bouncing so hard, the car is shaking. She's just by herself in her zone. I feel you, Shaw, to be in your zone. You hear you talking about? You get a little glimpse over back there. That's, that's her right there. She back there lit, Shaw. But <laughs> anyway, I want to go check these shoes out, see what they looking like in hand, man. Plus, I got an early review coming up. I'm going to try to get it up tomorrow. Try my best to get up tomorrow. I got a lot of things going on this weekend. But I'm going to try to get these videos back flowing for y'all, man, because I know I've been missing... I, I just, I gotta get back into it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, June was dry as a peanut butter and sand sandwich as far as sneaker releases. I did want to get those Mac Attack guys though. Those uh, Johnny McEnroe uh, uh, tennis, actual tennis uh, Nikes that drop. Gotta put these keys, my uh, truck keys from the job back in my bag because they kind of um, kind of clumsy in my pocket right here. I'm gonna keep the camera going though. No cuts, no edits. But, um, yeah, those Mac attacks, man, I didn't realize, well, I did realize once I seen Travis Scott win, I realized it was going to be hype. And people, us OGs, us OGs who actually remember the shoes from back in the day was not going to be able to cop. I'm a big fan of actual tennis shoes, um, especially the Andre Agassi line. So, shout out to actual Nike tennis, man. So, I get a pair of those. The resale ain't too crazy, but I think I, they might pop up for retail at some point. Seem like they're going to bring a few pairs out. I seen... Social status, drop a couple of, uh, of the ones that they dropping, the collabs that they dropping. They look all right, man. You know, I ain't mad at them. Anyway, in the mall, bruh, there's so much security in the mall, so I don't know what's going on. They look like they having a security uh, convention in there, guy. Peep. Peep. What's gonna happen? That ain't SWAT team in there thing. Ain't talking about <laughs> Who they looking for? It ain't me. I just got out of work. You talking about <laughs> We have DTLR here. Haven't been to the mall in a while. We're gonna start with DTLR. See if they got anything new and they got you feel me. As far as Jordans back here, I don't even see the release. I think they got it up on the counter, but um they got same old, same old back here. Oh, these sitting? They're probably just small sizes. This is a seven and a half in the Air Jordan one low uh elephant print cement. I mean, that was actually the last video I put up was the on feed of these 140. Like I said, I don't know if they got big sizes or not. Y'all come below if y'all went after these. Did my video make anybody like them? Did my video say, you know what, make anybody who wouldn't get them like, you know what, I think I'm going to cop them because of that Mike Rich did. Flicking cleanse don't feed somebody drops on them. Um, let me know if I influenced anybody because I'm t quote unquote an influencer, they say, which I think is whatever. I think people going to buy what they want to buy regardless of somebody like it or not. They got sevens on deck. They got the 
Speaking of savings, got the Cardinal guys. Like I said, I knew today's release was gonna sit just simply because how long that one sat, and that's an OG Jordan that he actually played in. Oh, they done brought the nothings out. We got the nothings. We got the Supreme. This is the boss nothing. Like when you get past all other Air Jordan nothings, this is gonna be the boss right here. These right here is like not the move. Yeah, they. I wouldn't even do them like that. They hard from the bottom. Man, that's a six bottom, of course. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> like, you got the whole six sole right there, and then you, you put the eights on top of that. Yep. Then what, what the hell you threw in the middle? I don't even know. This is a six right here. That's an eight. This is a seven right here at the top. Six tongue. That's a six. Seven heel right here. Yeah, that's a seven. It's a seven, six, seven, eight. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, six, seven, eight, literally. <laughs> so what they did started at six and went up. Yeah, <laughs> they trash though. <laughs> I feel I feel like they should just pick pick a retro and go with it instead of mixing three up. I mean, they, can get, they can get away with it in the kids. Oh, they, a lot of people gonna buy. I guarantee a lot of people gonna win. Kids, not yes. not I. He said the kids. Not me. <laughs> no, I'm not yeah, this is the Air Jordan method. I ain't thinking think about that. Six, seven, eight is an Atlanta area code, and right, right, six, seven, eight. They so, in a roundabout way, this is a, a, a Atlanta Air Jordan because it's a six, seven, eight. <laughs> but it is, in fact, an Air Jordan. Nothing. Keep them. Oh, bruh, no Foot Locker store got this shoe. Foot Locker champs. And um, JD Sports didn't even get them. Not yet. I'm thinking they late. I'm pretty sure this is a big general release. About to go on Snipes now. If all else fails, go to Snipes because they usually have pretty much every general release the day of. Foot Locker, they known for having late shipments. So let's see if they got them in Snipes. Do it. All right, Snipes. Don't let me down. Oh, they got them. See them already. They put them on the top. Top four uh, shelf. There they go right there. I'm gonna go ask for a size 12. See if they, see if they looking like. Why they got this on the? Uh, this supposed to be retros on the top four. They got the fives. They got the uh, uh, those are gorgeous greens. And they got these. Let me see if I can see if they got them my size. So when all else fails, go to Snipes. Snipes gonna have the pairs. Regular Jordan Seven box. She ain't gonna let me take the box with me. So I'm gonna walk off with just one shoe. Y'all don't know I can hop on one foot now. So hold on. So number one, this shoe looks gigantic in a size 12. I guess it's because of the white. My foot, I'm not gonna get, I have to go with 11 and a half. I have to try these on because this shoe looks so big in a size 12, Shada. So this is the Air, this song is getting on my nerves. This is the Air Jordan 7 white and infrared. Nobody asked for this shoe. If y'all gonna do white and infrared, y'all should have brought, uh, um, y'all should have brought the sixes back out. Um, the box says crimson. So this do kind of got like a crimson drip to it but I actually prefer this infrared um, than the 2014 white infrareds we got they look real pinkish this actually look like a more of an infrared this look like the infrared that was on the black infrareds um, and another thing with infrareds you're gonna get Nike Air on the back with the sixes so that classic look go with the sixes a little bit more these are actually super clean though I ain't gonna lie you got the infrared Air Jordan stitched on the tongue with the all black. Um, I guess they're trying to play off of the the uh, black. I mean, the infrared shield logo that's on the front of the sixes. But why didn't they go all the way down to the toe box with the black? That would have looked way more cleaner than just cutting it off right here and making that white going down the rest of the way. You also got this, uh, as T Ward would call them, chill bumps, aka the tumbled leather going on on these right here. And you have the um, smooth leather with the tumble leather going on as well. Uh, stitched jump man going on right there. You got your black new book up under this uh, panel right here, like always. Um, in the back, you got the black seven, as you can see. A black seven in the infrared 23 right there. Um, I'm not mad at these at all. A lot of people saying, trash i'm sure because people just don't like sevens a lot of people say true flight but if you put this beside a true flight it looks nothing like a true flight bro they do have a lot of the same uh details like the mountain peaks on the bottom but in some of what the shape but it, it doesn't look you, you can tell the difference when you look at them side by side my favorite part about air Jordan sevens is the bottoms of course and i like the way they did the icy bottoms to uh, commemorate the air Jordan six white infrared and mixed it with the black and infrared colorway man so these ain't bad in my humble opinion black strap uh, black Hirachi uh, booty on the inside. I just like I said, I wish they would have took the black neoprene and took it all the way down to the toe. That would have looked way cleaner. I think a little bit more black 
never hurts on the um, on the Jordan sneakers, man. So y'all come blow and tell me what y'all think about their Jordan seven uh, white infrareds, man. Let your boy know. Yeah, you talking about it. one more question before I put them back in the box. Did anybody actually cop this morning? I know they said on Nike sneakers, and I know they probably gonna sit everywhere. Damn, this size 12. I can't get over how gigantic this size 12 look. I hope my chambrays don't look this damn big, man. I think it's the white though, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, did anybody actually cop this shoe? Comment below and let me know. These will be at the outlets, and if I can catch them for like a good price, I'll probably end up getting them later on down the line. I actually like the shoe, I love Jordan 7s, and I love the white infrared colorway. Um, so I don't know. Like I said, I wish black was down here, but you know, I done said it three times already. Y'all get it. Anything else in here? It's the regulars. You got your elephant print. Jordan 1 highs. I heard those was on. Everybody was in my comments telling me the N had those on sale for like $98. I wish I could have caught that because that's a great deal. As you can see, the Jordan 7s are sitting on the shelves. I think when everybody else get their pairs in, that's going to be the same thing. They're going to follow suit and then they're going to head to the outlets when they don't sell. Um, Gorge Green uh air jordan ones i showed y'all those already is the craft mids the white ones i don't know if i ever saw that and then i got a low with that too they always do a mid and a low uh air jordan the king of air jordan nothings and then his followers his disciples the rest of the air jordan nathan's on deck all the way up to the top he's saying and it's a nappy ass new balance right here you guys got that nappy sway you talking about so shoes like those uh, Mac attacks and those um, and those Harachi the high the highs uh, the Fab Five guys they go to boutiques only because I ain't seen them in no stores, bro. So I wonder what make them do that. I wonder what make them decide what shoes. They must be like a quick strike or something like that. Um, I actually like these though. Got the UNC vibes on that Air Max 95, bro. Oof, these ain't bad. I, they look like a um they remind me of which what Jordan one that is the obsidians yep because they got the navy it is navy was that black i think that's navy and then the uh um, carolina blue and the gray vibes i ain't mad at these man he kind of cleansed in my humble opinion foot lock and they got the kobe joints bro the, the first kobe space boot guys bro they look like they, they just gonna straight fly away what you talking about the young cats in here said these ain't kobe's they, they just don't know shot they just don't know you can't teach these youngins nothing about their history so uh was this the first kobe though i can't remember if it was the first one or not and then they got the like like got both lakers colorways man so obviously adidas is trying to capitalize without actually paying kobe's estate you feel me or having his brand in any way on the shoe y'all let me know what y'all think of these they came out with a new one adidas just came out with a new basketball shoe that kind of got like a zipper in the front that kind of favors these and actually it kind of it kind of seemed like it's inspired by fear of god too it actually ain't that bad in my humble opinion i won't be copping but you know and i got the t-max the t-max in a raptor colorway with that ashy suede on them guy all of a sudden everybody against ashy suede every time you see a shoe with ashy suede people hate it but i remember back in the day ashy people rock shoes with ashy suede all the time these track can water though like i'm sorry ashy suede is not the problem but the shoe is the problem <laughs> i ain't never really been into the t-max like that and they got the white patent leather guys they remind me of like some strawberries or something like that man they can keep these oh wow and the other side just got real dynamic on them uh, <laughs> yeah man so that was the air jordan 7 review not really you know not no pickup vlog because two hundred dollars another thing i want to talk about two hundred dollars man them shoes are gonna sit they're gonna go to the outlets bro ain't nobody finna pay to ain't nobody finna pay two hundred dollars for jordan sevens because y'all don't like sevens don't none of y'all like sevens um I'm just waiting for that perfect collab to drop. You know what I'm saying? Just just basically waiting for somebody who y'all love. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not talking about y'all, not Rich Nation. I'm talking about the hype beasts and the people who buy shoes just based on, um, you know what I'm saying, hype or whatever. And people going to start liking sevens. It might, it, might, it might not work like that no more. Though. I don't know. Does the hype, because hype moves mysteriously. Does hype still work like that? Do it have to be like... Some kind of rapper or somebody that people like rock a pair of shoes and then people want to buy it because um, I don't know. It seemed to get a little hype on. The, I was just talking about the Mac attacks with Travis Scott. Like it seemed to get a little hype. Like um, I know it was rumored for a Jordan Seven Travis Scott. I don't think that's gonna happen. I think that was a false rumor. They just I don't know because we ain't seen or heard nothing about that since then. But y'all comment below and let me th let me know what y'all think. Y'all think the hype beats will start moving on Jordan Sevens, or do you think people just gonna always not really like Jordan Seven like that? Comment below and let me know. I don't care. I hope people keep not liking them because I can keep just 
I can I can stop buying them when the, when the drop happened. I can stop buying them on release day and just wait later on and just get them on, on discount or something like that. But speaking of that, these are definitely going to the outlet. So the outlet thing, the outlet shout is right here. I I I'm a I'm a say it now. Then when I do the outlet vlog and they be in the outlet, I'm gonna bring it back. I'll say yeah, see, I told you y'all watched the tape. I told you they were gonna be in the outlet. But I guess I guess that's not really news because I mean nobody's finna pay two hundred dollars for an Air Jordan Seven that's not an OG colorway and, and took a colorway off another OG shoe and it's not a, um and it's two hundred dollars. You know what I'm saying? I just don't think it's gonna happen. So anyway, I appreciate y'all watching. Tell me what y'all thinking about it. Did anybody actually cop these for retail today? Let me know. And as always, I appreciate y'all for watching. Hit a thumbs up, like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Hit that notification bell so you can become a part of Rich Nation. Stand all the way up to the moon on them. Hell is you saying? And keep watching my video because that's what I'm here for. Go just kicks, yeah. Jordan, six, Woo. eight and nine, fit, Woo. hottest, trends, hottest. clank, clank, cleanse, Clean. bless, yes, Woo. I'm rich, M, I K E, you know me, yeah. OG, only. only, real, no phony, yeah. ATL, homie, yeah. shot my boy T, uh. YFHB, yeah. Icy Mint, freeze, on my free throw line, three, Woo. Mike, rich, no hype, just kicks, Mike, rich, no hype, just kicks. Mike, rich, no hype, just kicks. Jordan, six, and my